Now, it is the last day of voting in the so-called referendums in four occupied regions in Ukraine about whether they should become part of the Russian Federation. Nearly four million people from the eastern regions of Donetsk, Luhansk and the southern regions of Kherson and also Zaporizhia are being asked to attend polling stations and vote. The government in Kiev and its Western allies have dismissed the ballots as a sham. Our correspondent Hugo Bashega is in Kiev and joins us now. Hugo, do we have any indication as to the level of participation in these ballots? Well, that's an interesting question, uh, Tanya, because the government here says that this is a propaganda exercise, that the result has already been decided by Moscow. So uh, this is just uh, a sham, uh, as uh, it's been described by officials here and also uh, in the West. Uh, we've heard reports, though, from residents, uh, accounts from people on the ground saying that soldiers are going door to door, forcing people to vote. Uh, Ukrainian officials are saying that in some towns, uh, residents have been banned from leaving. Um, some workers have been threatened with losing their jobs if they do not join this process. So it seems that the people have been forced to take part in this so-called referendum, uh, even though Ukrainian officials say that the result has already been decided by uh, Moscow and this is just an excuse by, by Russia to annex parts of this country. And if it then goes ahead and does that and declares those parts of Russia, whether or not the international community is prepared to recognize that, and the indications are that it's not, what then? Well, I think the fear here is that Russia is going to say, look, those regions have voted to join Russia, to be part of Russia. These regions are going to be considered part of Russia, and any attack on those areas will be seen as an attack on Russia. Now, the Ukrainians say that nothing is going to change. Uh, this process is a farce. There's no legitimacy, and uh, the international community will not recognize the legitimacy of this uh, vote. And last night, President Zelensky said that any action that uh, as a result of this uh, so-called referendum uh, will uh, be met with a tough response from the international community. But this morning, the British Ministry of Defense said there is a realistic possibility that President Putin will announce, formally announce, the annexation of those regions on Friday. He's expected to uh, address uh, the Houses of Parliament on Friday. And uh, now the, uh, the British uh, Defense Ministry is saying that there is a possibility that this announcement uh, will happen on Friday. Hugo, thank you very much.